Hi everyone. Well, I wasn't sure if I was going to make a video on this subject. I almost did a couple of months ago based on ChatGPT for SEO, as I've used it to great effect on my own website, but I decided to postpone it and do it down the line. But the last few weeks I've been a mind boggling. <laughs> First, generative fill from Adobe. Everyone knows about it. Pure witchcraft. <laughs> Second, mid journey. Now, Mid Journey isn't brand new and has been around a little while since around February 2022. So not that long really, around 16, 17 months. There's an example coming up in the video of how far this AI generator has come in 16 months. And I tell you for free now that I may start researching how to be a prepper. <laughs> that or I'm digging a fallout shelter in the garden so the T800 can't find me. All seriousness, I don't know how to feel about all the actual artificial intelligence boom that we're having recently. I think it will take a few years to see how it affects many different job sectors and if it will affect wedding photography in general. For me, an AI cannot turn up to someone's wedding and shoot it like we can, but it certainly can generate images, which is what we're going to look at today. I was inspired to make this video after watching my good friend Neil Redfern talk through the same subject and I was equally impressed and are taken aback. <laughs> Wait until you see what I created from my prompts. I've even discovered you can feed the AI reference images such as from Google or another wedding photographer. So thanks to Harry Michael and Lynn and Jersa as I've used a photo of theirs in the examples. Before I jump into the examples, I can clearly see how easy, especially in a couple of years once the AI gets even more accurate, it would be to build a portfolio website of amazing imagery, especially on the premise of advertising to prospective couples if for example it was someone starting out in the industry and had zero work or portfolio. Just like photographers not stealing other photographers work and passing it off as their own. I mean some might do it but not for long and the businesses would be in tatters as soon as it was made public so for me I don't think we will see people filling their portfolios with AI created images but by god the images are producers throughout this world and remember it's only been online for 16 months. Wait till you see what's coming up in the rest of the video. <sighs> Mind blowing. <laughs> Where will it be in another 16 months time or even 10 years? I don't even think 10 years. I think two years from now, the things that will be producing will just be astonishing. It really doesn't bear thinking about. So let's dive into the video and have a little chat about mid journey and its effect on wedding photography. Here we are inside the computer guys. So I give it an instruction to for a luxury bride and groom walking into Tuscany Hills. Uh, I give it a aspect ratio, ratio 3.2, use version five of the software. And it's just like phew, mind blowing. I mean, look at this. You could use either of them. Um, I used version two, upscaled it. And here's the final result. Just wow. <laughs> I mean, it beggars belief, doesn't it? Um, so here I asked it for a luxury bride and groom having a boat ride along Lake Como in Italy. Um, again, it takes about 20 seconds, 25 seconds um, for it to phase through. And then Bob's your uncle, four variants. Um, I asked it for a variation of number two and it gave me this. So it's not they're not perfect, a lot of these photos. I'll get up to some more hyper realistic images later in the video and you'll not believe them. They look absolutely like normal photographs. Here's some other photos that I created. Again, not hyper realistic, but in I reckon a couple of years time they will be. Um, and you'll not be able to tell them apart from a normal photograph, which is quite ridiculous to be frank. I mean, here I asked it to create a couple look on the top of a hill, looking over a lake, watching the sunset in the distance. I think it achieved that. Um, unbelievable. Here was quite a, an elaborate thing. I asked it for a frame darch with pampas grass in the desert with camels in the distance. You know, bride and groom walking through a vineyard in Italy, I asked it to do. These are so just unbelievable. Absolutely craziness. I asked it to create a couple at a wedding ceremony under a waterfall in Iceland. And I look at this one. This looks so realistic this one not so much but that background was fed from an image of Urij Manor and this one was from a Benjamin Wheeler photo and it's used the, the exact same sort of background and so is this one from Harry Michael where I fed it 
one of his photographs of a bride and groom with a mini and guests cheering. And as you can see, it's took the red mini, it's took the guests cheering and used it as a reference to create a photograph. <sighs> and like I said, I think in a few years time, this will be so realistic, you won't be able to tell. Here we used a photo from Lynn and Jersa from Pi in America. Um, bride and groom together and it's created exactly what I fed it, which was a groom touching foreheads with a, an Indian bride. Uh, and it's so hyper realistic, it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I, I would say most photographers would be able to spot these within someone's portfolio. Um, especially stuff like this, but in a couple of years time, I don't think you will be able to. I really don't. Um, I mean, hopefully the morality of photographers would stop people from putting this stuff in their portfolios. But these images here, I asked for a Chinese bride hugging her mother at a ceremony. I question anyone to look at these images and say they're AI generated. But it's just like so realistic, it is unbelievable. Especially this image, look, that, it, it mid journey's rubbish with hands, but it's even got the hands right there. This image here, that is mid journey. That's not an actual photograph. These are actual mid journey for uh, created images. I mean, that looks so real, it's not even funny. Um, wow, it's just mind blown. Um, yeah, <sighs> let me know in the comments what you think. I asked for a couple of two grooms under a hail of confetti. I mean, wow. A bride hugging her father. I don't think you'd be able to tell these from a normal photograph either. Um, so Mid Journey does quite well with some photos, stupidly well with some, and not so good with others. I mean, here is now, so this is version 5.1. Um, so hyper realistic, especially the top right photo. And that is at 16 months ago with the same prompt. So a 16 month difference is nothing. It's an absolute drop in the, drop in the ocean. To go from that from February 22 to that in June 23 is just staggering. Where will this technology be in two years time? Uh, not even two years, it could be nine months. Like this is ridiculous. I asked it to do the same thing with a bride. So again, this is version 5.1, which is now. <laughs> and this is in February last year, so 2022, version one. So the exact same prompt and look at the difference in 16 month. <sighs> I don't know about you, but that is just, yeah, that's a bit scary really. Um, but again, I hope the morality of photographers would stop people using this technology to build a portfolio. If they get caught out, yeah, their name's worth nothing. And yeah, I asked her to make some wedding venue photographs from above of a ceremony in Italy. I mean, 12 months time when these look even more realistic. These are the type of photos people could use in portfolios, unbelievable. I used one more image from Lynn and Jersa and it's just staggering, absolutely staggering. So here's a little preview of next week's video where I created these movie posters using Mid Journey and some graphic design skills in Photoshop. Each of these posters took me 20 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed my look on AI and specifically Mid Journey. In the next week's video, I'm dusting off my graphic design skills. So in the past, for fun, I used to create movie posters, some of which I would take around eight hours of work to create, such as this Avengers poster or this Star Wars poster. I made them back in the day. So in next week's video, I'll use Mid Journey to create movie posters in 20 minutes or less, which is frankly ridiculous, and share my thoughts on AI and its impact for designers. Not technically a photography video, but I hope you guys will find it interesting. And I'll see you in the next video.